Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And if you haven't seen this laptop yet, you need to watch this video. This is the new ZenBook Duo from ASUS. Honestly, even if you have seen this laptop, you should still check out this video because this laptop is just so cool and has so many use cases. It is a standard laptop, right? But it's a dual screen laptop. So it will close when you open it up. It looks like a normal laptop with the keyboard attached, but you can take the keyboard off and it's a dual screen laptop, top and bottom exact same displays. So really excited to check this laptop out. We're gonna take a quick look what comes in the box and then of course get some hands on with this dual screen laptop that does have flagship specs as well, Intel processor, OLED display, and a lot more. Also, drop a comment. Let me know if this is a type of laptop that you wanna see more of and if this is something that you think you would use day to day. But anyways, let's dive into it. This is the new ASUS ZenBook Duo. Let's get started. Opening up this box, we have a lot inside. Not sure what this is. Oh, it looks like it's a backpack. We'll take a look at that. We've also got this box, which is the laptop box itself. You'll see a Suzen book. And finally, we have, I believe this is the power cable and our pen. This is the 65 watt charging brick that you do get. It is connected to it via a pretty long USB Type-C cable. I'm glad they used USB Type-C for charging. You've got your ASUS Pen 2.0. You've got a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable for charging. It also comes with some extra tips down here so you can change them out to your liking. And a close look at that ASUS Pen 2.0. Pretty much a standard size pen uh, when holding it. And onto what you came to see, the new Asus Zen Book. Flipping this up, it raises up what you came to see. And here's some information about their Asus Lumina OLED. Again, versatile dual screen. And you can get up to the Intel Core Ultra 9 processor, which is their new lineup. Taking the laptop out, I believe that's everything. No, not quite everything. You also get this uh, stand. You'll notice some graphics. Uh, letting you know how you can angle up uh, the laptop and more. Finally, you've got your standard booklets, warranty information. All right, let's get this opened up, taking it out of the plastic. I'm really excited. Down at the bottom here, you'll notice there's a kickstand already built into it. Flipping it over, just a very sleek, minimal look. Not Nothing crazy with the branding, just a Seuss Zen book in the corner there. Like in all my laptop videos, let's do the one-handed opening test, and that passed really easily. I'm very pleased, actually. I was uh, on the fence whether or not that was going to pass, but you'll also notice this keyboard. Yes, this is a keyboard. You'll notice I took it off. There we go. We've got two screens right there. Uh, there's a power button right up on the top, right above this display. Uh, just gives you information about it. You can charge it with a cable or connected to it, and also you can connect it via Bluetooth, so it doesn't need to be on top of that other screen to actually work, and there it is. Check out how thin this is, and when it does connect, you'll notice there's a connector right there, so that's how it's charging, and so you can just line it up. Oh, and it's a very strong magnet. Very easy to take off and put on, but I'm also not worried about it sliding. And again, look at this, it's closed. That keyboard is there, so it's just like a normal laptop. This is so cool. And then flipping it up, and, and let's see, I want to close it. You can close it without the keyboard. Let's do a one-handed test without it. There we go, passed very easily. Now I'm gonna press the power button, boot this up for the first time, and while it turns on, let's take a closer look at this really, really cool hardware. With the keyboard connected on the left side, the keyboard has a status light plus a Bluetooth switch and there's a USB type C port for charging. Moving along some ventilation there, plus two USB type C ports. You'll see that lightning logo next to it and a USB type A port. Just a quick look at the front and then on the right side here is just some more ventilation. You, um, microphone, headphone jack, plus an HDMI cable slot. And just a quick look at it closed with the keyboard. Just a look at the back. Just some more ventilation. Let's take that keyboard out and take a close look. So no keyboard and you'll see there's a gap now in between, but it is really great that it's not touching because you don't want those two screens scratching up against each other. There's a pad 
at the front that keeps it elevated and there's just a little bit of a gap up towards the top. I know I've already teased it on the bottom here. I believe these are the two speakers that you're going to get more ventilation. Each corner has a lot of grip to it. And then of course, says a Seuss Zenbook, there's that kickstand, which will go uh, completely, uh, what is this, 45 degrees, maybe a little bit more than that. So you can angle it up when you do have the laptop open. And here are the dual 14 inch touchscreen displays, OLED technology. I do love this design. It's kind of crazy how you can just have two displays identical side by side. When I do take the keyboard of the ZenBook Duo and place it down, it will auto lock in place. Now it's gonna turn that screen off, of course, down at the bottom and just use it like a normal laptop. It does have a trackpad with a left and right button. And considering how thin it is, these keys actually have a decent amount of travel to them and that trackpad is a large size. Diving into all of the ways you can use this laptop, again, taking off that keyboard is going to show that second screen. Now this is all touch a touchpad technology. Uh, again, via Bluetooth, you can still connect to this. So you can still use the trackpad and keyboard separately. Now, what we can do is because that back is a kickstand, we can set it up so that it is like this, where we have two screens, horizontal, top and bottom. Sorry, the lighting wasn't that great there, but as you can tell, top and bottom, 1610 displays, now, if you see this cursor, I am just using this trackpad. I can go uh, down between the two screens and back up if I'd like to, and obviously type with this keyboard. It's, it's a really nifty setup. With the back kickstand, let's give it a try. What if I want to use it vertically? There we go. Side by side vertically. If you're someone that uses vertical monitors, you can just do that, you don't need to use them horizontally. And that kickstand's working great, both, it's very secure, it's not gonna fall over. And with good hardware, you still need good software to go with it. And obviously you're going to want to have multiple screens going with different applications uh, running at once. Now, let's say I have uh, a YouTube search up here, up at the top. Now, when I go to drag a window, it doesn't really matter what application, I have a couple options. First of all, I can go to the first screen, and if I go down, I can have it jump to the left, the right, top, bottom, right? But I can also have it jump down to the second screen and also do the exact same thing, or watch this, extend. Look at this, I can just use both displays for whatever application I'm in, it will just extend across into one really large screen. This makes it really easy to say, watch your favorite YouTuber, and if I extend it, I can start reading the comments down below, check out some recommended videos while having this up towards the top. I, I, I just really love this application. Just this first one we're trying out. Obviously you can still uh, do two things at once. You can run another application or multiple down at the bottom while you have a video running. And that's not the only software feature. So check this out. When we're using it in dual screen mode, obviously dual touch screens is really convenient. So you can go back and forth without a keyboard or a touchpad. But let's say you want a keyboard. If I have six fingers at the same time, give it a tap and check that out. It brings up a virtual keyboard down towards the bottom. But let's say I also want to use a touchpad, not the touch screen. Three fingers brings up a, a trackpad right here. So if I uh, double tap, it takes it out of full screen. I can minimize this application and use it like I would a normal uh, trackpad. You don't need the keyboard up to activate this trackpad. I can just use three fingers and there's a floating touchpad that pops up and you can right click, left click, all that good stuff and use it like you normally would. And let's say I go ahead and tap with six fingers. Hello, how are you? Let's do a quick test. Hello there, thanks for watching. Okay, so I just tried to go as fast as I could with the camera in front of me. A lot of typos. It's going to take a little bit of time to get used to the positioning of all the keys. Um, and there's obviously an audio feedback when you're typing, but it is a pretty instant response. Uh, good at multi-touch. You can also use five fingers and expand on an application and it will bring it across both of the displays. Just really intuitive and useful because you're going to want all of these features 
uh, having two touch screens. And don't forget, you have a keyboard. Now, if there's an application down at the bottom and you snap the keyboard on, it will detect it right away and just throw that application up towards the top. So again, really intuitive. And there you go. You just have a regular laptop that you can use, type on. You don't have to type on that touch screen if you choose not to. Now, I can't quite decide if I'm going to use the ZenBook Duo vertically or horizontally. There's a lot of use cases, but nice that kickstand gives you the option of both. But drop a comment, let me know which way you think you'd use it more, whether you'd have top, bottom, or side-by-side -side displays. Anyways, that is everything from me on the new Asus ZenBook. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. I do love that they've sort of solved the problem of having two uh, touch screens with a detached keyboard and you have to carry it around with you. This one completely attaches. You just close it, bring it on your way. It's a fairly thin, fairly light uh, chassis overall. Obviously that keyboard will add some extra thickness, uh, but really easy and will be great to bring with you for that dual screen productivity. Anyways, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe more to come. I'm really gonna have fun with this laptop, testing it out, doing all that good stuff. So drop a comment, let me know what you think. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.